This is the first time in 30 years that Zelko Obrodovich is not coaching a team right now. He's taking the year off. This is Fenerbahce, the team he led last year in the EuroLeague out of Turkey. Uh, Obrodovich is known as one of the greatest coaches in basketball history, and I have really fallen in love with what he does in the pick and roll. It makes it so exciting and unique, and it'd be awesome to see it more stateside, whether it be in college and the pros. And I want to go over uh, how they run the pick and roll, uh, Obrodovich style, and what makes it so special. In this video, we're going to go over single and double side pick and roll actions here. This is against Real Madrid. I'm going to show the clip and do a little bit of commentary as it is underway. You have some motion here. The screen is reset. Now, quickly, I want to pause it and, and let you guys know that you have you know, a high pick and roll. You have a player a little bit above the corner, one player around free throw line extended, and then a player under the basket for Fenerbahce. Now, I want, to see, want you guys to watch the three players uh, who are not involved in pick and roll and see how this unfolds. So even though the shot doesn't go in, as you'll notice, a great advantage is created in the pick and roll. And why is that? That's because anytime a ball screen is set, depending on the where it's set on the single and double side, this is set technically to a single side, even though, as you'll note, the player under the basket will then make it a double side. Uh, you know, Abu Davich does a great job, and it's in his system for the three players not involved in the ball screen to constantly be moving to distort how the defense views the pick and roll. So clearly, right now, it looks like it's an even side pick and roll where the player's under the basket. You know, it could be a roll and replace, but as you'll see, the player on the weak side will kick all the way up. The player that's under the basket then goes actually free throw line extended where he catches it. And as a result, because of the defense collapsing and reacting, you have a wide open three point attempt. It is unusual basketball. You don't really see anyone else doing it. And how, and one thing I love to note is how quickly the players not involved with the pick and roll move. You see, they sprint to their spots. They're looking for the ball. They understand where each uh, player is supposed to be. And they help uh, you know get the team the best shot possible. Really exciting stuff. I want to pause it right here. Going to go into another pick and roll. Uh, this will be a different variation. So here's a rescreen, as you'll see. We're going to the double side, and we kick up. And the kick up allows for the drive. So once we go back one more time. So there's a pin down to get a player open. We have a rescreen. Uh, you notice right here, 21. He's pointing at 19, his player in the corner, because of the rescreen. You've got to cut. So on the double, so this is a single side, and the ball handler. Uh, is going to the, uh, the the two side. So 19 will cut down. You see the wing player on the weak side from the corner cutting all the way up. The defense has to play catch up. Wide open shot. Now it doesn't go in, but notice how the defense, one more time, isn't quite ready for this. So you have the ball screen set, and you know they're hedging over. However, with all of the three players moving, now here comes the problem of you have to get the tag man, but also the player in the corner kicking up creates a two-on-one situation. Defense can't recover in time. Wide open. I actually want to end this video on a possession that I did a voiceover at the beginning of the video. Going to let it roll. And this is a sideline out of bounds. It ends with a pitch and a step up to a pick and roll. So I want to focus really on the defense here. So this is a uh, pick and roll to the two side where the roll man is going to be going to where their two players are. It's kind of a standard spread pick and roll right now. You have a player in the corner, a player free throw line extended. However, I really want to watch you to, uh, you to watch the defense. And we're going to let it play a little bit. And as you'll see, you had you know, the hedge uh, switching, is recovering right now. Here you have the guard in the ball screen. Here is the tag man who was on uh, who was closest to the weak side free throw lane extended. This is where things get interesting with the motion Abrodovich does, is that right now the defense is doing everything correct according to traditional spread pick and roll rules. However, because of the motion, this distorts the weak side uh, defense. So I'm going to pause it right here. So the Fenerbahce player that was free throw line extended, he's now all the way at the top of the key. Now this low man uh, who I'm circling uh, in Zavida, he his man was in the corner so technically he's every as you can notice all four defenders besides him are you know they're kind of at that midway point uh, even at the nail or closer to the ball handler so he's he's the only weak side help right now weak side defender so no one's there to communicate with him and furthermore where uh you know you're supposed to zone up on, on the weak side right now where he is and he's doing exactly that the only issue is because he has to be a pay attention to the ball he can't pay attention to the ball and notice that his uh the man close to him kicked up uh now who now replaced uh the, the teammate who's now free throw line extended 
wide open, can't recover in time. So even when you play by traditional spread pick and roll rules, Abro Davic is so brilliant with his offensive system that there's an answer for, for everything in that regard where the defense can do everything right. You see they, they go over, it's a hedge, and they actually end up switching. Then they switch. Uh, you know, the weak side does everything they have to do, but because of the fact that the Abrodovic players on Fenerbahce, because they uh, have that motion, who the player's not involved in the pick and roll, it distorts weak side responsibilities. Uh, and it's hard to be focusing on the ball with all that movement and also focus on what's behind you, which leads to a very wide open three point attempt that goes in. Really brilliant basketball. This has been a great study to watch. It's one of a, a goal of mine. Uh, this year is to watch more European basketball. And even though this is uh, from last season, uh, it's been a terrific start watching uh, the legend Zelko Abrodovic and seeing his really unique, clever offense.